Which one do you prefer? Getting a nice surprise as a present or getting exactly the thing you want? I like both. Because there are some times when I really want something, mm -hmm. but I don't want to buy it or it's like too close to like Christmas or my birthday or Valentine's Day or something where I'm like, okay, you can get me this. <laughs> but there are times when it's so nice to be surprised. Like, uh, what was it for Valentine's Day this year? Mm -hmm. You got me the... The... The necklace I was looking at for um, when we were we went we traveled to New Haven that time we did and I saw this necklace that I really liked and I completely forgot about it because I loved it then and and then months later he comes out of nowhere and gives me this thing because he went back and got it and it was so sweet and I love it and I wear it all the time I didn't went back and got it I got it in front of you but I thought you you were wandering all over the store so I thought <laughs> you might happened upon me when I was purchasing it. So I got two other things as cover gifts in case you came over. Mm. And then I and then I got that. And then um I saw a guy like, hey, you know, do this do this on a hush. Like keep it quick. Put it separate. <laughs> and then I, like shuffle it away and then it's like, oh what'd you get? Because you know you you're gonna be like, where were you? Or like, you know Yeah. I saw you talking to the guy doing stuff. So it's like, yeah, I just got something. <laughs> but see that was a wonderful surprise because that's a beautiful necklace and it's a cute little story you know yeah i thought i thought you remembered i thought you had me made though but you didn't did not and then i gave you the cover gift later yeah which that, i love too which was a surprise it was a surprise a delightful it was a surprise. surprise yeah but i think i was so surprised or i think i was so uh distracted in that store because that store was one of those that was like jam-packed like wall-to-wall -wall, like like floor to ceiling is covered with like knickknacks and mm -hmm. like all kinds of stuff and there's so many things to look at so if we're in an environment where there's a lot of things going <laughs> along going on i could get away with some stuff I could pretty much a, i could be a little subterfuge yeah yeah okay good to know what about you me yeah i want the thing i want but you know you always get like small little surprises that have nice touches so I appreciate those, but, you know, sometimes, like, I want the thing I want more. So, like, I remember the time you got me the gloves from the Ryan Gosling Drive movie. Yeah. The leather gloves, which were really cool. They were mm -hmm. so cool. They were a little uh, big, though, because I had to guess your hand size without you being like, wait, like, why, why are you, you measuring, measuring my, my hands? Hand? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you do it when I'm sleeping? I sleep pretty dead. I've done that before. Measure your wrist? No, you, you pulled me over for that one. Oh, did I? Yeah, you did. Oh. Anyway, um, it was really cool, but it didn't, like, it was, it was a little too big. And I wanted something else a little bit more. So, I had to go back, unfortunately. Across the seas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were um, from London, I think. Mm, yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It just didn't fit. If, if it if it had fit right, I might I might have considered keeping it a little bit more. But you know, um, it's just like stuff that I know I'm gonna have to buy soon, or like, you know, nah. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I would say when I was younger, I was more on the surprise train. But you know, it's like eh, it's nice but it's not quite the thing i really really want you know so mm -hmm. <clears throat> i've come to appreciate like being a lot more forward about hey i want this specific thing and uh you know there is a time there's a story that my dad tells all the time about the greatest christmas reaction i've ever had or <laughs> of all time like it was a mix of uh, something i really wanted mm -hmm. and i told my parents over the summer and then when i finally got it i like lost my shit and i was just like shaking uncontrollably and like hyperventilating and my dad caught like a photo at the right time and it's it was pj sparkle and no one has ever heard of it and it was the greatest doll ever i think i think i think this will go out and i think people will know what pj sparkle is. i hope more than one I person know what it was. knows who know what it was. pj sparkle is because i still have it 
You do? Yes. Where is it? It's either upstate or in a trunk in the back room. Mm. I think it's upstate, though. I don't know. I feel like you should honor your childhood and give PJ Sparkle some room on a shelf. <laughs> Let's or or PJ or maybe Sparkle. or maybe you you know you'll have that same reaction again, so you don't want to do that because that's gonna happen <laughs> every needs time to... you walk by PJ Sparkle. <laughs> so you're gonna like diminish. The, no, I think I think you made a good decision. You know, just like taking it out from time to time. Yeah. So you could have a strong reaction. Just get real excited about it. That's crazy. Anyway, so we'll see how that goes. Both. It's nice. Both. Don't break the bank. Split the money. But uh, I'll catch you next week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're cute. Or later in the week. Whichever one. Whatever, whatever comes Who first. Who could know? Whatever comes first. <laughs> <laughs>